know I love surprises. And this video review of this piece of gear is definitely a surprise. And I think it's one you're gonna really like. Okay, so how many of you have had one of these foot pedals that you've gotten from Amazon that you use for like your Discord push to talk or something? That's what I use this uh, single foot switch for. But the big problem with this is number one, it's cheap, cheaply made. It's all plastic. And number two, it doesn't have enough weight to it, so it slides around all the time. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that really, really gets on my nerves. But it does come in quite handy when you use it for push to talk on Discord if you have a dual PC system like me. Well, it looks like Elgato has come to the rescue with their Stream Deck pedal. This is a well-built, probably the best built pedal I have ever seen. Although I'm not really a pedal, uh, connoisseur so to speak but i will say that this one will not give you any issues with sliding around because the weight is really good uh, this plate on the bottom this metal plate is going to give you a lot of stability that these inferior pat plastic pedals won't now, i've been using this for a while and uh, i want to talk about it real quick because i think you will uh, really get a lot out of this all right so let's open up the box and let's see what we got First thing is we got this nice little open, open strip to rip off the box. Listen to it. Blah, blah, and it's a cover. Ooh, a very heavy cover. Elgato packaging, as always, professional. Trying to keep their products clean and protected in the box here is the reveal Ta -da! it's a foot switch it is the stream deck pedal so it looks like it's got one pedal two pedal three pedal and it's very heavy i will say compared to the foot switch that i have that i bought on amazon a while back probably three years ago this is about four times as heavy and that's a good thing metal base rubber feet to keep things from sliding uh usb-c interface i'm sure it probably just uses a 2.0 though you don't need 3.0 to have this work uh we have the string deck pedal instruction manual looks like we have uh warranty and safety instructions we got springs middle pedal stoppers we have spring sets uh, i guess they're different tensions this is uh for 2000 i guess 2000 uh, pounds uh it can't be pounds maybe 2000 grams i don't know spring set 1400 you got 1000 and 700 if you really like a soft pedal i want to try to default out first and see how that works out and then of course yeah this is usb 2.0 type a Type C, which is, you know, quickly becoming a new standard. So we got a pedal, we got the cable, one, two, three, four different spring tensions, and we have a, a middle pedal stopper, me, uh, uh, yeah, middle pedal stoppers, which let's see what they look like. I'm, very, I'm sure they're tiny, and I don't want to lose them, so I'll show you what one looks like. It's just a little plastic peg. Like that. Show you what springs look like. Let's open up the 2000 set. I mean, it's a spring. I mean, what are, what are you going to get out of the spring? But there, yeah, there you go. This no, number one. It is three pedals built into this one unit. You got two pedals here. And you got one big pedal in the middle. Now I use the middle pedal for my push to talk. I use this for a mic mute to my stream and my monitor mix out of Wavelink. And then this one I use for various other things. The great thing about this is this integrates with Stream Deck. So any of the plugins in Stream Deck will work with this pedal. So it gives you a ton of options. It's really awesome. Uh, it is USB. Uh, USB-C, but it is a USB 2.0. It comes with a USB cable, USB Type-A on one side, 2.0, and then USB-C on the other. This one will plug into the foot pedal itself. This one will go to your PC. So, gives you that. It's two meters long or six feet. 
is a braided cable, as you can see. Let's see if I can get them to zoom in on that. There we go. And the really neat thing about this is it includes a bunch of different spring options that you can use to change the tension to your liking. Now, what I've done is I've went and changed mine from the default medium setting to the hard setting, uh, which includes a 2000, whatever. I don't know. That's a great question. Elgato, what does the 2000 mean? Anyway, the spring set 2000 and spring set 1000 is what I put in here to give it the hard setting to use to increase the tension on these pedals because I'm heavy footed. I'm a big guy. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. But I've changed it to hard, which I think I will like better. And you can take off the bottom here with these six screws and lift this metal base off and you can change the springs. Another thing that you can do that's an option too is that you can, instead of changing out the middle springs, you can replace those with these little middle posts that will then turn your middle foot pedal into a foot rest if you so desire. Now, I don't know why you would do that. Maybe you don't need the third pedal, but if you're going to buy something like this, I imagine that the third pedal will be mostly used. But the way Elgato is, they give you those options for all kinds of different configurations. So anyway, yeah, it's a really, it is a really nice pedal. Uh, you also do get a little blue LED on the back. That'll tell you that it's synced up and you'll, uh, you'll know that it'll be a dark uh, uh, Elgato blue. It's Elgato blue. So that's, I mean, that's what it is. My use of it, I found that once, you know, I got it set up, it was really easy. Uh, there is an included Discord plugin with Stream Deck that is now available that you can use to set up Discord with this instead of having to use hotkeys, which is really nice. So the push to talk to there, your mute, uh, your deafen, all that's there that you can use on this pedal and it's easy to set up. Uh, just download the latest version of Stream Deck. I think it's 5.2 is the version she'll need. Uh, I mean, there's really not much to say about it. I really like it a lot. I, I love it actually, because it doesn't slide around at all. I never had to move it. Once I got it where I wanted it, it stayed planted and that's what I want. Now I have carpet. So if you have hardwood, well, then you, you know take that into consideration, but on carpet, it sticks and I have no issues. It has six feet to go along with it to help it stay where you need it to stay. And, you know, otherwise I'm happy with it. Now this retails for $89.99. You can go to Elgato's website, buy there. And I'm sure it'll probably be available on all the retail outlets. Um, if it is available on Amazon, I'll get an affiliate link down below, which will help the channel out. If you want to click on that, I'm sure it'll be the same price there. But Anyway, if you got any questions about this, let me know. I really think that you'll like this pedal a lot. It is built very well. Obviously the aesthetics there with the Elgato logo on the front. Um, it's a nice clean black finish. It's built well, uh, hard plastic pedals with this nice heavy metal base on the bottom. It feels really solid. The fact that you get all the customization options is really nice. I like that a lot and you know, Elgato once again does Elgato things with something that other people might consider ordinary, like a little USB foot pedal switch. They've taken it to the next level with the Stream Deck pedal. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you, guys, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Uh, comment down below, tell me what you think about it. Um, and if you've got any questions, feel free to comment below. I will try to answer as many questions as I can. Thank you, Elgato, for sending me this and give it a go. Um, they have not looked at this video before you. They're getting it along with you. This is an unbiased review. They haven't paid me to do anything. The only thing they did was they sent me the pedal, which was a total surprise, might I add. I had no idea a week ago that they were coming out with this, and I supposedly got an email. It's kind of funny. I actually got an email saying they were, they sent me the embargo email and telling me about this the same day I received the package. I had no clue. This is a really neat surprise. And I think it's something that a lot of people have been wanting for a while, a nice solid foot pedal that'll last you a very long time. And if you want to have more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. I do have some more gear reviews coming up and I would love to see you come back. So hit that subscribe, please. And hit that bell for notifications. You'll know when I have a video that goes live. Other than that, have a great day and we will see you later. Bye-bye.